you so much um, for being here with me today. I am Helen Mitchell, founder of the Refresh Experience. Um, I consider and um, share with everyone that I am a joy expert. I have my master's degree in spiritual psychology from the University of Santa Monica. And bigger than that, I am just blessed to have in my presence, a community of women who are ready to do the work of living their very best life. So I, I, am, I am so grateful for the opportunity to be in that presence and in that energy. And this year for the very first time for our fall retreat, we have the incredible addition of Vina, who is gonna be sharing some information with us during this time who does so much. I follow her on, I, I see her walking, I see her <laughs> gardening. I keep up with this woman. So if you don't, please, 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 she's going to tell you how to follow her. So you'll know all of the incredible things that she can do. Jewelry making. I mean, I don't know anyone who can keep all the balls in the air. So Bina, thank you for joining us today. And, um, and we're going to talk all about waste beads and wine and how that's going to be a part of our upcoming retreat. So welcome. We're on. Thank you. Live. Thank you. I'm so thank you, excited thank you. to have this opportunity to be in your presence. You make me feel good. You make me grounded. Um, and you make me know that all things are possible. And so when, whenever I think of our conversations, I always quote you and always tell people what you've told me so that I can manifest the things that I really want for Refresh. So happy to have you here. And I love Thank your background. You. Thank you. And it is so serendipitous that we're both wearing lace. I know. Isn't that exciting? I'm so yes. excited. So tell us a little bit about Vina. Okay. So first, thank you for having me. Thank you for inviting me to be part of the Refresh experience. I'm super excited about that. Um, I am Vina Ruby Critchlow. I am originally from Brooklyn, New York. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been in Atlanta over half of my life, but I still consider myself a New Yorker because, you know, once you move out of New York, you never really leave New York, right? So um, in my transition from New York City to Atlanta in my 20s, I bought some beads as I was leaving New York City. And I bought some crystals, I bought amethyst because that was, I'm born in February and that was the first crystal I really remember knowing. And I bought it, I moved down here, I wasn't working because I was 20 something and you know, you don't really have to work like that when you're 20 something with no children yet, no real responsibilities. And I started making jewelry. And from that, just really started getting into the crystal healing, how I came into contact or um, how I developed knowledge around how powerful crystals are was a couple of years prior to me moving, I traveled to Egypt. And there was a woman on that trip. I don't know her name, but I have her photograph. And she had crystals everywhere on her neck, on her ears, in her head. She had them tucked under her bra. She said she used yoni eggs, which are oval shaped crystals that can be placed into the vaginal canal to help tighten those muscles. She had them on her ankles, her waist. And now she sounds like some of my friends. But at the time I was like really, really enthralled, right? I was like, who is this? What is this all about? And she talked about the energy of the crystals and being in um, Egypt at these vortexes, these energetic centers that were really powerful. And our ancestors knew about them and she had come to do some work internally. And this was in the early, this was 1990, as a matter of fact. And I always remembered her and was kind of curious. So that kind of um, started my journey into crystals, moved down here, got deeper into them as I started figuring out what I was going to do, started making jewelry. And um, yeah, and Ifetayo Artwear was born on um, the line of jewelry that I do using healing crystals and other natural elements from the earth. Um, I am also, as you mentioned, a gardener. Gardening is something that I came into. Um, it kind of found me as I was working to deal with um, some grief and loss in my life. I had a younger sister who was tragically killed and the gardening each year um, helped me to go deeper into the healing and ground myself in a deeper way. So 
my gardening has expanded. This year, I actually grew cantaloupes. I am so excited. <laughs> I, yeah, my, my oldest child who's 24 was like, now that's impressive. She was like, the tomatoes were okay, but the cantaloupe. So I feel like, you know, a real gardener now, even though I, I think I'm, I'm so far only have seven cantaloupes that have, that have, um, that are making it. But, um, so I garden, I do jewelry. I do an event called Waste Beads and Wine. And that is part of what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna go into that more in a moment. And I also host a retreat called the Grown Ass Mama Tour for women who are in a space of just wanting to relax and release and reset. Because as we move through this time, because I don't know that this time is ever going to be over. And I refuse to call it the new normal. It is what it is. As we move through it, I think it's necessary for us to reset, right? And to really, as you're talking about with the refresh experience, but also as um, mature women maturing mindfully to step into that space with knowledge and wisdom and what that looks like. So we'll be in Jamaica where there is tons of healing happening um, on a regular basis. We'll be there for the spring equinox next year. But in September, more importantly, Waste Beads and Wine will be um, part of the refresh experience. And so I'm super excited about that. And we will join with over 100 women. So if you're looking at this now and you have not registered, do it now because we are going to join together and really do some wonderful work around healing. So I believe there are healing in four areas of our lives, financial, spiritual, and this is in no particular order, um, our emotional well-being and our physical well-being. And for me, the waste beads and wine gets to our emotional well-being. Waste beads are placed on our, in our midsection and areas women that we're often uncomfortable with, right? That because of children or because of um, hormones or because of sugar or because of Starbucks, whatever it is, that we have expanded in that area in many ways. And so I work with us to heal that, to release that, to let go of that. And of course it doesn't happen in three hours, but the seeds are planted. And using crystals that help to um, help us manifest all that we dream of, desire and deserve, we will create a waste seed together. And they are set with intention as you talk about throughout the work that you do. And they're fortified with our energy. So that is waste beads and wine in the love lounge. In the love lounge, yes, yeah. at the refresh experience. So, I um I owe a, a, a great gratitude and thank you to Sharon Green, who um is a part of the refresh community and was the first one who says, "You and Vina, y'all got to get together. Y'all need to yeah y'all need to meet and." After a time, because it's been some time since we actually could make that connection um, happen, um, I was so excited to add an additional component to the refresh experience. So um, I personally have um, taken part in um, Waste Speeds and Wine um, virtually, and it was it was just moving, and I think. And it was on a day, I don't even think you know this, but a dear friend of mine lost her father that morning. Oh. And I was like saying, no, nah, I can't do it. No, but no, I need it to. And I can tell you, I was more like a flower drinking in the sunshine of oh. what was going on around me. Cause I was just at that place where I couldn't fully be present and fully participate in the way that I would have had my heart been open and clear. But I just want to say that in the moment of that day, when I needed to be ministered to, all that was going on on that virtual conversation um, absolutely gave my soul refreshment. I felt oh, like um, I was in touch with um, a, a, a greater power of women and conversation that uplifted my spirit and elevated me on that very, very sad day. And I just want to, I want the women who are listening to this and to the Refresh community to know that this is an experience beyond just, not just, but the creation of your waste speed. 
This is really about, and I've heard Vina say it in her workshops, it's really about touching your heart and soul in a way that then these crystals will continue to remind you and be a part of what it is that you're wearing on your body so that that energy um, takes a part of your soul and your heart. So um, from a personal standpoint, just from a personal testimony of knowing that that particular day, it uplifted me. I know that when we get to the love lounge and we have the one-to-one um, -one, face to face, as someone said to me, knee to knee, eyeball to eyeball, experience of being in the same room and having that energy of really elevating ourselves and resetting from yeah. all that we've been through. Because I believe what you say is true. And that's that this isn't just a time we're going through now. This may be a long place journey that we're going through. And I believe that the refresh experience will give you the tools to make that journey and to be able to come out on the, on the um, other side of this with some tools that you can use on a regular basis to uplift your spirit, to elevate your soul, and to be sure that you're grounded so that you can make wise choices, informed decisions, things that really make you feel some joy. So um, Vina, I know I'm, I'm speaking from a personal testimony, but tell us a little bit about the significance of the way speed and, and why are we, why are we um, having that be one of our tools to tap into our, our goddessness or our inner being? Tell us a little bit about that because I picked that up from having attended um, on that Sunday. Yes, yes, so thank you for sharing that. I appreciate you for showing up, for being present that day. And it is always my prayer that I'm able to touch one person, right? Because if you touch one, it's then we know it's multiplied because you then can carry that information forth. And so I'm thankful that you got what you needed that day. Um, I also decided to do waist beads. So like I make jewelry, I make earrings, I make necklaces, I make bracelets, but waist beads are really important. In African tradition, they signify rites of passage throughout a, from a young girl, from really a baby. Males as well can get waist beads in some traditions in some countries. But um, for young ladies, they signify a transition from young girlhood to young womanhood. Once your cycle starts, you get, it's part of a ceremony, right? A rites of passage. Another rites of passage is when you become a bride. They're used to seduce your husband, right? And to add to the sensuality of a marriage. And then um, women also get waist beads when their child is born or after their child is born. And it, they also serve as a measure, not only rites of passage, but to see how we gain weight. They can roll up if you're gaining weight. They can roll <laughs> down if you're losing weight. So they kind of give you a barometer to see where you are in, in that whole um, physical, right? The physical part of our lives. When we combine them with crystals, crystals carry the energetic footprint of the earth. They fascinate me. They never cease to fascinate me. First of all, there's like millions of crystals. And the fact that they come out of the belly of the earth with such luminescence and such bright light and they carry so much energy. So crystals are used throughout our lives. They are in clocks, they're in watches, they're in medical devices because they are perfect examples, particularly crystal quartz of a great timekeeper. The frequency at which they resonate allows the frequencies of these different devices to stay intact, right? So they have scientific meaning in our lives, but on a spiritual level, we have seven energy centers or chakras in our body. Starting from the bottom, we have the root, then the sacral, the solar plexus, the heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye, and the crown chakra. These seven energy centers align with different crystals and often the colors of the crystals align with the color that the energy center is represented by. You ask why we use waist beads. Our sacral chakra is where the waist beads sit generally. Somewhere between our solar plexus, our sacral and our root chakra. Our sacral chakra is where our abdominal area is where as women, 
our reproductive area is. It is where our power as a woman is housed. Whether or not you choose to have children, it is where our creativity, the seat of our creativity, the seat of our um, just reproduction, right? That ability to create and create and create and also our passion is housed there as well. So it's a great area to begin to work with. And as I mentioned, as women, we're often uncomfortable with this area. So. I, I uh, absolutely can feel that. I, I understand that. I remember walking into the, um, to a store out in California at um, Deepak Chopra's place. And the first thing I gravitated to, there was a whole like wall or display of crystals and <laughs> rose quartz was everything mm. for me. I mean, rose quartz is like, the, I, I, I'm sure I have one. Oh, here it is <laughs> on my desk. Mm -hmm. And, um, and it's actually a heart shape. Uh, of yes, a rose quartz. yes, yes, yes. And rose quartz is one of those crystals where like, when I'm really like needing some love, mm -hmm. um, I am absolutely drawn to um, this crystal. So in our Waste Beads and Wine session, we are going to learn about these energies and, these pro and the properties of yes. the crystals that you have um, worked with. And I know you go through a very precious process. You don't just like, you know, go and get crystals from anywhere. You go through a very um, unique and um, sacred process before we will get even to touch the, the, the crystals and use them to create our own waste speed. You want to talk a little bit about, you know, just the charging and the sacredness of the beads that will be selected, the crystals, I'm sorry, that will be selected for our waste speed. Absolutely. So let me just make it very rudimentary, right? And accessible for everyone. Um, when you get new clothes out of the store, right? You go to TJ Maxx, you find that beautiful red shirt or dress that you're wearing and you bring it home, you try it on. I know we do a dance because we always do a dance when we put something on and we're cute, right? <laughs> and we, we might wash it before we wear it. But when we put it on and we know we look good, whether we say it out loud or we say it in our head or someone says it to us, that outfit is charged with positivity, right? It is charged with good vibrations, with good feeling, with joy. And so crystals, and, and so that outfit, when you put it on, you feel good. Crystals carry the same kind of frequency. So the process I go through is similar. I, I cleanse them either in um, the light of the full moon, or I will cleanse them with sage. Use, most often, the crystals I use for waist beads and wine, I cleanse with sage because there's so many of them. But now it's really hot out. And when it's like juicy hot, I call it. Like that hot, you can't <laughs> even stand to be outside for longer than five minutes. I put them out on my deck and let them get discharged with the energy of the sun because the sun rejuvenates us, right? When you come out of a dark place, you go into the light. The sun helps us to lift our energy. The full moon does the same thing as well. And then I, so after they're cleansed um, and charged, I then speak words of power or affirmations into them. And every woman at, um, that registers, and well, even if you register for um, the Refresh Experience, you'll get a chart with a ton of crystals on it, including the ones that we'll use in the workshop that will give you more information on which um, crystal it is, a picture of it, the chakra it corresponds to, how it, um, is used, like the properties of it. So for example, rose quartz corresponds with unconditional love. It corresponds with forgiveness, with self-worth. It corresponds to the heart chakra, right? The chakra in the middle of our, the center of our chest, which is generally shown as green, but pink crystals. So I have um, here some rhodonite. Rhodonite is another crystal and I've blended it with rose quartz. This is rose quartz as well, this bracelet. Um, um, and this is rhodochrosite, this light pink stone. So pink stones often correspond with the heart chakra. And I'm doing some work around healing and, and worth and because there's always work to be done, right? No matter how always much you work, work to no be matter done. who you are, always. what you do, there's always some work to be done. Because when there's no more work, we are no longer here. We are no so, longer here. <laughs> exactly. So um, we will get, I will share all of this information. I um, cleanse the crystals, they're charged, and then I um, also, as I am creating the package, just have one really joyful music. I might be dancing, just 
keeping that energy really light. It's not like, oh, I got to do this. No, there's <laughs> none of that. None of that. None of this that. This is what brings me joy. I, I, at this stage in my life, I'm focused on things that bring me joy. So whether it be gardening or walking or making jewelry, they bring me joy. Dancing brings me joy. Spending time with my children brings me joy. So That's awesome. Yeah. And we're going to talk a lot about that at the retreat. So I have had the incredible experience. I needed you today, Vina. I had a tough morning. And, um, and, and, and I think you sensed that energy when we were on the phone. And so you have lifted my spirit as you always do. For those in the Refresh community and for those listening who don't know about the Refresh community yet, come join us. Come join us. You will have speakers like Vina who will speak to your spirit and your soul. Sometimes we get so into our heads, we're really not listening to the opportunities that are there for us. My desire in doing this Refresh experience is so that I can bring the energy the resources, the tools, the information to not just have called information, but to really minister to our souls and to our hearts, because that's where we are really being challenged. That's the place where we're no longer open and available. We know all the answers in our head. We see it on TV. We get the information. It's whether or not we are opening our souls and our hearts to what is really going to give us the life that we're desiring. So Refresh Experience, September 24th through the 26th, we will be here in Atlanta. Normally we're out of town. We will be face-to-face -face at the Hilton on in Powder Springs, very close, so everyone will be able to come. We will, though, carve this time out to be present for ourselves and give ourselves this wonderful opportunity to replenish ourselves, to refresh ourselves, to reset ourselves, and to absolutely elevate ourselves. So if you're looking for a place to come, if you're looking for the place to come with 100 plus women, where we will be doing reflecting and small groups, and we will be having the opportunity to meet together and have a collection of hearts and souls and minds, this is where you need to be. So right in back of me at that bit.ly link, you can go to any of our social media and um, check us out, see what we're talking about. We're going to be talking about relationships. We're going to be involved in yoga and body movement. Chef B is going to talk about nourishing our bodies and plant-based opportunities for that. We're going to be doing a sound bath um, through um, one of our practitioners who will be doing a sound bath. We have covered every base. I can tell you that if this experience appeals to you in any way, touches your heart or your soul in this moment, then join us. Join us. Join me and Vina. We're going to be there. And I can't wait to get some jewelry to wear. I'm going to have Vina pick something very special to make for me. So if you want to see what that ends up being, come join me at the Hilton Hotel at the Refresh Experience. So Vina, are you ready to make something special? I want earrings I would, and necklace. I want, I want to be like charged up. So you ready? I, oh, that is my thing. That's my jam right there. That's your and jam. Because, yeah, because that's that's like the magic part of it, right? Like. I love to see women when they come to the Waste Beats and Wine and they set those intentions and then I see them posting on Facebook. You don't even have to text me and tell me. It's like, I got a, a residency over here. My child got a job over here and they were working to manifest more money, right? It doesn't always show up the way we think it will, but it always, always shows up. It always so shows I, up. It, it always, and it always works out. Everything is my mantra. Everything is always and, and always working out. It's so um, for your divine good. Thank you. I am definitely ready to, to make something for you. So yes, yes, yes. yes. And if you to. come, you'll see just what that is because I'm sure Vina is going to come up with something that matches my energy and my spirit and will put me in a place that will be ready for all of the women who are coming to um, seek a reset. So thank you, Vina, for being with me today. I appreciate it. We will be doing more lives. Check us out on the Refresh EXP. What's your um, Instagram so people can check you out? Thank you. My Instagram is um, Ife Tayo Artwear. Ife Tayo is a word from the Yoruba people of Nigeria that means love brings happiness. 
It Ooh. is spelled I F is in Frank E T A Y O Artswear A R T W E A R. And you can also reach me through my website at www.vinacritch 